Good morning. I'm here. It's 10.30 a.m. on Thursday, May 24th, 2018. Hope everybody's doing great. Hello, hello. Say hi when you um, join in. I'm going to give it a minute. Yay, Pam is watching. So that means I am actually live. I'm trying to see it on my iPad over here, but I think we have some slow internet at my house today. Okay, yay, I see it. Um, so good morning. Hi, Pam. Hey, Melanie. Um, thank you guys for joining me today on uh, basically, besides my monthly newsletter, all my Facebook Lives are kind of impromptu. I decided a day or two before that I can fit one in and do it. So thank you for squeezing me in. Hi, Rhonda. Um, I'm going to give away the card I'm making today, which I think is really cute. For um, I'm going to do a drawing. Hey, I'm good, Sherry. Thank you for asking. I'm going to do a drawing for those who comment and share. So an entry for each. So, of course, when you do that, it helps me. It exposes my um, stamping to other people. So I appreciate you guys doing that. And so to reward you, I just do some kind of little drawing each time. So this time it's the card. Um, so the card I'm going to make today is not this card, but I want to show you this one first. This is the style we're going to make, which is called an easel card. We made this one at my card class last month. I think it's super cute. It's with the Pop of Paradise. I think every stamp on this card is from Pop of Paradise which is a retiring stamp set, which means it will not be available um, after May 31st or when it sells out, whichever comes first. May 25th, stamps become while supplies last only that are retiring, so get them now if you want them. So what's special about this card is how it opens. It sits up like an easel, as you see, and so your friends and family that you give it to can display the card like this. And it's like they have a little piece of art on their desk, their table, their fireplace, mantle, whatever. It looks really cute and it's just neat. But you can open it and, you know, write your greeting stamp inside, all that stuff. And then we have a little thing here raised up to kind of keep that easel up. So, good morning, Linda. And thank you for sharing, Melanie. Um... So I'm going to show you how to make this, which is incredibly easy, but we're just going to make a different design using sneak peek stuff, yay, from our new catalog that's coming out June 1st. Most of my customers have their copy now. A lot of you got it in person at class. If you're a local customer, that's how I usually give it out to you is when you come to class. This is what the cover looks like. It's so exciting. Um, or sometimes local customers will pick it up from me on my porch and then if you're long distance it was mailed so I know at least one person has not received her mailed one yet I know a few have and then some I haven't heard from so if you need a book let me know and we can figure out how to get that but I want to show you the card or I'm not going to show you the card I'm going to make it but these are the supplies we're going to use. So we have the Rooted in Nature. This is a new stamp set. Two boxes, one set. Look how cute it is. It coordinates with Lovely as a Tree. Stampin' Up! actually designed it to coordinate with Lovely as a Tree. So that means um, you can mix and match those images. And Lovely as a Tree has literally been in the catalog since I signed up in 2001. I don't know how long before that, but it's the longest running stamp set we have very popular. So Rooted in Nature is like a coordinating set, but it has a set of matching framelits, Nature's Roots framelits, and of course it'll be a bundle. It's 12 framelits. Um, this is the one I'm going to use today, but it basically every tree in this set has a die that cuts it out. There are leaves, which of course there's leaf stamps to match. And then there are a couple of dies in here that are actually for, I think it's two or three, three of them, these three, one, two, three, that emboss. But they match, for example, I've got it covered up there. Ah! They match um, a die that cuts out as well. So there's that one. 
so you can die cut first and then run it back through and emboss it really cool hello claudia um so it's awesome you're gonna love this you can get it june 1st or demonstrators can get it now today along with a bunch of other stuff and i always have to tell you guys you can be a demonstrator you can get the kit um, it's only $99. You get 125 of any merchandise you want, including this new sneak peek stuff. So demonstrators can order earlier, early. And if you're getting the kit, you're becoming a demonstrator, so you can get it early too. But being a demonstrator doesn't mean you're doing this as a business and all that stuff. It just means you're getting a discount and you may or may not do something with it later. Um, so I'm going to use three ink pad colors here, and I happen to have them all in the new body style. So look how such a low profile, sleek this stack is. It's nice and sturdy if I want to shake it because I have them stacked. But we're going to use Tranquil Tide, which is a, a current in color. Blackberry Bliss, which is a returning color. And then Soft Suede, which is a current color. Okay, and I'm also going to use the layering circles framelits. So I'll show you those now. Put them aside. Okay, the first thing, excuse me, my stuff is sliding over here. The first thing I want to do, these are all the stamps we're going to use. Now I'm going to get them out of my way. First thing I want to do is, I guess we'll fold first. So the card is the same size as a normal card when it's all folded up, it fits in a regular envelope four and a fourth by five and a half. It's just a, a half sheet cut the other direction of eight and a half by 11. So it is um, four and a fourth by 11. So you fold it in half. Now you can score this if you prefer a more crisp fold, especially for the second fold we're gonna do. But you fold it in half and then we do this for some cards, hey Pat, but instead of folding it backwards, we're gonna open up, open it up and fold the top half in half, open it up, fold it in half again, easy. Again, there's a little more wrinkling if you don't score it with your paper cutter first, but I'm fine with that personally and that gets covered up anyway, so you can score it if you prefer. That'll be our card base and I always tell you guys in class, stamp and sign the back so that people know you made the card. <laughs> I love the flamingo too. I'm sad it's going away. Um, stamp and sign the back so people know you made it. And then, but for now, we'll, we will set this aside to finish our card with later. Okay, so next I have, let me show you the pieces we need. This one's longer on purpose. So we have, um, let me get them all out here and then I will tell you what they are. Okay. So we have four, actually this is the full size of a card base. So four and a fourth by five and a half. Blackberry Bliss, woohoo. Yes, we do have a Flamingo Stain Pat. Okay, four and a fourth, five and a half Blackberry Bliss. It's gonna be the same size, which is different than how we did this card. Um, four and a fourth, four, I'm sorry, four inches by five and a fourth Berry Vanilla. I need one, I brought two in case I mess one up. This is just a scrap of Whisper White. I mean, sorry, very vanilla. Bah. But it's three and a quarter, I mean, three and three quarter inch square, if you wanna make this card later. And then we have two one inch strips of Tranquil Tide. One is four and a fourth to go on the card here later. And one is four inches to go on this piece later. Okay, and then we have a little piece of the designer paper that comes with, or that's um, in this product suite, and it's called Nature's Poem, and it's super pretty. It does have some wood grain images, and then on the back, look at that. I've used a lot of this already, as you can see, but um, it's very, of course, nature-y. It can, <clears throat> it can be masculine. See, there's some nice Cajun Craze image. I love this one. So anyway, it's a really nice paper that will be available June 1st or now if you're a demonstrator. Okay, so I'm going to start with this piece here of Fairy Vanilla, and we're just going to make a background with this 
awesome image in the set that is um, like a, a slice of a tree. So, new pad. They're getting, mine are getting easier to open. <laughs> and this is brand new, so it's nice and inky. I got this, the reason I have soft suede is because when I went to Stampin' Up's on stage event in um, April, they gave us, a, they gave away to all the demonstrators the product that we had used at each table on our make and takes. And one of the products I chose out of the bucket was this stamp pad. That's how I have it early. Uh, of course, just another of the many benefits of being a demonstrator. Okay, so that was soft suede. There's my ink image, but again, it's inked up really well. So um, that's why it's so dark. Good morning, Shirley. I think I'm done with this color, so let me just give y'all that quick closing demonstration. Okay, um, set this aside. Now on this piece of vanilla, we're going to end up cutting it out with a cir uh, the circle framelit. So I'm going to stamp these two trees, these two images, three trees total. Hey, Chris. In Tranquil Tide. <laughs> so, so easy to open. Um, I want to stamp this image first, full strength. Then I'm going to stamp this tree once, just overlapping that one a little, and then here and here without re-inking. So you have like a little forest there. And then our greeting will be in Blackberry Bliss. And it says to thank you for all you do. And you don't want it to um, go too far into the trees there because it will, you won't be able to read it. But I think you can read it with that little bit of overlap. And then uh, the designer paper. So we, I have just that little scrap or it's a, you know, I cut it a little longer than I needed and about one inch tall just to be able to um, have what I need here. So I'm going to, sorry, I got to grab my adhesive. I'm going to um, attach this to this piece and you want to do this now because it's going to be die cut and it will allow me to attach it nice and straight. So this is not meant to be perfectly, you know, have spacing in here, all that stuff here. I just want it to be, to basically underline the words straight. Hey, Jennifer. Uh, don't forget everybody, comment and share to be entered into a drawing to win this card, which I think is going to be super cute. So now we're going to die cut. And so I, to save time on the video, I've already die cut one of these leaf images that I stamped in Tranquil Tide on some scraps of very vanilla. And um, anyway, because you would have to run it through twice because there's only one die in the set, of course. So I'm going to die cut these two things now. So let me grab this big shot. And I have the magnetic platform on it. And always keep a clear cutting pad on top, the one that you haven't cut on. Because, for example, if I put this on top, it has so much paper that has gotten like um, smooshed down into it from die cutting. That will transfer onto my image here. And it'll mess it up. It will not look good. So cut on one pad and have a clean one for the top. Okay, can you guys see this a little bit there? Okay, so I'm gonna, like always, align my image. If your magnetic platform is making things jump, one thing I like to do is just move my paper to where it wants to jump to. But another is you can put a sticky note right across the top here to hold it in place. Or you can actually tap the dies really hard on a table to kind of demagnetize them because that's what's happening. They're getting magnetized from touching the magnet so much. And then um, you can hit your magnetic platform on the table too. But today, it looks like I'm lucky and none of that is happening. But I do love the magnetic platform, which is sold separately. Okay, so look. Look how cute that is. Yay, yay, yay. And then we have our second leaf. 
There's that leftover piece. Okay, and we'll get rid of that little big shot. And then we need a greeting, another greeting, because this card's special. And it says, you are wonderful. We're gonna stamp that in Blackberry Bliss on just some scraps of very vanilla. And you are wonderful does fit into the pretty label punch. So, and I know y'all know, but all these products are available through me. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator or you're not one yourself. And I have um, rewards for ordering online. If you come to my classes, your reward is the projects you get for free with your class, but, um, or with your order. But anyway, if you order online in May and use this host code, you will get um, some free stuff from me if your order is $25 or more. Okay, so I left my Tranquil Tide open because I want to sponge the edge of this. So you just kind of dip it in the ink pad and scrape it on the edges. So that's Tranquil Tide and that was stamped in Blackberry Bliss. Hey Lisa. Okay, like I said, just a reminder, these ink pads are getting easier and easier for me to open and close the more I use them in case yours are stiff when you first get them. Okay, I think we have all our supplies. Now we're ready to assemble. Do that so you can see a little better. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, um, assemble the front of my card first. So snail adhesive on all four edges, maybe a little bit in the center since it's a very large piece of paper. And place that there. I gave the measurements earlier if you're joining late, and so you can definitely um, get those at the beginning of the video. Then I want to add this piece of Tranquil Tide across the center here, kind of a little bit up higher, but basically across the center. Then I have some linen thread. I'm going to wrap it. Okay, I don't know which end is the loose end. I'm going to wrap it around twice. And then tie it in a bow. So when I tie bows, I like to use these reverse tweezers, which Stampin' Up! does not sell. You can pretty much buy anything else you see today from me, but not those. Um, but they're like for jewelry making, or at least at the craft store. Anyway, look, you clip it like that and then you can just tie your bow or your knot. And anytime I'm doing um, ribbons uh, at home, not for a class, I like to do it from the roll because then you have zero waste on this end. So when I snip this off, on this right, well for me, my right side, there's no waste. Um, everything stays on the roll. So that's just a little tip for you guys. Okay, so I have my bow. You can always adjust if your ends are, you know, didn't do exactly what you want. Then we'll add this greeting with Stampin' Dimensionals. And another tip in case y'all don't know, just use the edges too. They are very usable, no waste. So you get way more for your money than um, even what it says in the catalog, which is 300 dimensionals for $4. You get more than that when you use those edges. Okay, so there's the front of our card. I'm gonna, okay, I had a message on my phone that was blocking my view. This is going to get attached to the bottom here. So, when we made this card in my class, we had to be careful not to, well, to basically only put the adhesive on the back of the Mellon Mambo cardstock from here to here. Um, if you placed it on the white, you could go too far on these edges and then there would be adhesive right here exposed. And of course, you don't want any here because of it getting attached flat. Also, 
ignore this. That was a mistake I made, but the customers had a nice solid piece of Mellon Mambo. Everyone can always learn from my mistakes. But because this one is the full size, it's a little easier. We can just place adhesive on this piece here and we can go to the edges because the Blackberry Bliss cardstock is the same size. So that's another tip. I didn't really think about it when I made the, the Flamingo. Then um, go ahead and lay it flat and attach, you know, match up the card to the base. Look how easy that is, y'all. Boom. Okay. Now you need something for it to sit against when you do these easel cards. So, and this piece is just more for decoration than it, it to rest against, although it might rest a little against it, but it's so flat. It could come, yeah, just like that. So we're gonna use these uh, with Stampin' Dimensionals. So I'm going to place adhesive over here on the right side and put my leaves underneath it. So add a little more. Then Stampin' Dimensionals. So anytime I attach pieces to each other like that, I like to overlap the dimensionals on the back, which secures it even better to my you know, to the final project so that it doesn't come apart later when you are not planning on it coming apart. <laughs> okay, so that's gonna go in the center there. Look at that, super cute, right? Do y'all like it? Give me a, a thumbs up or a heart or something, or if you do, or just to make me feel better. <laughs> Um, but this is the card I made for you guys today. I came up with this last night. Um, I did what, you know, just a quick, I guess, in, insight into my, um, how I stamp is when I'm trying to come up with my own ideas, because I do copy a lot, which is perfectly fine for us all to do that. But when I want it to be my own design, I'll get on Pinterest, I'll search the stamp set, and I'll just look at several ideas and like their layouts and color schemes and then I'll close it and come up with my own card. So it'll be inspired by. So this was definitely inspired by a couple, maybe more than a couple of projects I saw on Pinterest. But technically this is my own design, which is rare. Y'all know that for me. Um, so that is the card. And again, this is all sneak peek stuff. I'll put this one out too because I think it's also cute. I guess I'll close them so you can see them better. Um, sneak peek stuff that you can get June 1st, or you can get it now with the starter kit. And there's no commitment with the starter kit, so don't forget that. Um, don't forget also that Papa Paradise is retiring if you like that. We do, like um, Pat said, we have another flamingo set that's staying, and I love it too. It's just more realistic, not as cutesy as Pop of Paradise. So, you know, depending on your style. Um, don't forget retiring stuff is only available till the end of May or while supplies last. And, oh, I wanted to remind you guys about my product shares. So if you don't receive my emails, um, then you want to sign up for them so you'll know everything that's going on. But I'm doing some product shares and June 1st is the deadline to sign up. And share, I actually think that word might confuse customers, but um, it the word share is because, like for example, we're not doing this, but if we were doing linen thread, we're all going to share a pack of it. So I'm going to cut it up and split it between multiple people. But it's more like a sampling for customers. So you get a sampling. Um, there's three different shares to choose from. You can do one, two, or all three. Um, all the new designer papers, all the new ribbons, and all the new accessories. Those are the three I'm offering. Um, the email breaks down cost and how much it would cost if you bought all those things individually and all that stuff. So if you haven't received that email and you want more info, just let me know and I will send it to you. As a reminder, when you're watching this video here on Facebook, um, unfortunately with when I upload it to YouTube, it's different, but if you comment while it's here on Facebook and or share it, you'll be entered into a drawing to win this stamp, this card, I'm sorry, which I'll mail to you. And um, I appreciate you guys doing that as well. 
and the deadline is before I do the drawing. <laughs> so sometimes I try to do the drawing within a week. I actually forgot to do the last drawing until last night when I was planning this Facebook Live and I remembered and Cindy Owen won that card. Um, the As a reminder with the host code this month, you're going to get three sheets each of six by six of this designer paper springtime foils, which is foil. Um, three sheets six by six of four designs. So that's 12 sheets of six by six paper. Plus you'll get all the supplies to make four cards using this paper, but I'll cut up my own and we'll use the beautiful bouquet stamp set in those cards. You'll provide your own stamp set. Okay, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you have any questions, let me know um, or any other you know comments. Maybe you have an idea to make my something I did easier let us all know. I will see you guys soon and have a great day. Thanks.